remember the intense heat wave conditions that prevailed over large parts of uh, central and eastern India in mid-April. Those conditions lasted for about 10 days in Gangetic West Bengal, almost 7 days in Bihar and over 5 days in Orissa. Now a new rapid attribution analysis led by 22 researchers from different countries who came together as part of World Weather Attribution Initiative have found that this extreme heat, heat event in South Asia during April was worsened by climate change. Uh, the analysis builds on several previous studies led by climate scientists who have gone on to say that warming, global warming has indeed made these heat e events, uh, made these heat waves much more uh, severe, intense, uh, frequent and uh, enabling them to last much more longer. But what is most pertinent about this analysis is that it talks about humid heat. Now, as we all know that uh, the rise in temperatures can have serious consequences for the human health. But if that rise in temperature is accompanied with high humidity, it can have really fatal consequences. Uh, why? Because it restricts the cooling mechanism of the body and doesn't let the body sweat as easy that uh, as easier that it would normally. Uh, if you remember, we did have a lot of hospitalizations and heat-related illness in uh, different parts of the country in April. Maharashtra is the first example that comes to mind. So how did these researchers uh, study it? Uh, the researchers analyzed uh, the uh, heat wave event um, in uh, four regions uh, over South Asia, uh, India and Bangladesh as one unit and Laos and Thailand as another. They analyzed the uh, average maximum temperature and the highest value for the heat index over these uh, uh, regions during four days, that is April 16th to April 20th. And they found that the uh, heat index value were hovering near danger levels for different parts of the country. Now, if you know that India Med Department does not come up with a verified heat index, so how did they arrive at these values? They used the ERA-5 data set to make the analysis. And uh, another important finding that the researchers make is that such uh, horrid heat events, which were probably once in a century uh, phenomena for countries like India and Bangladesh uh, in the pre-industrial levels, could be expected once every five years since now the temperatures have risen uh, 1.2 degrees Celsius uh, over what they were in uh, pre-industrial levels. Now, uh, Another important point that the uh, researchers make is that uh, we really need to do a vulnerability assessment because most of the people who do get impacted by heat waves are the marginalized fractions. The uh, scientists express disappointment at the pace at which we are adapting the heat action plans and they say that it needs to be prioritized. So what is the forecast for heat waves from IMD as of now? So the heat waves are prevailing over coastal Andhra Pradesh and the forecast suggests that they may now continue over Jharkhand and parts of uh, Uttar Pradesh over the next few days. Thank you so much for watching CNN News 18 and stay tuned in to uh, get to know more such updates. Thank you.